All right, so let's look at a list and uh, think a little bit about what's inside there, right? So we have these objects in our list and uh, these objects have indexes just like strings. So there's a zero, one, two, three, and four index. Um, and we can pull those out. So let's take a look at, uh, let's list through this for each in my list. And uh, as we would have done in the past, we'd say print each, right? And when we do that, we can see clearly all of the items in the list. Um, if we wanted to know the indexes, it would be simple enough to use the my list. And in this case, we're gonna say dot index and put the each inside there. Um, what that does is that lets us use the index method to actually get numbers. And as you can see, now we're getting the index points. If we wanted to see both index points and the words or objects, uh, we could simply add those in there. Isn't that fun? Let's say we wanted to uh, add one so this is more human readable. Easy enough, remember, with our indexes are just numbers. So uh, we can add one. It's important we put it inside like that. And uh, now we have this nice human readable list. And of course, if we uh, wanted to do this with, with concatenation, uh, we could replace our commas with concatenation. Do remember though, when you're working with, with uh, indexes or when you're working with lists, it's always best to in explicitly set everything to a string because remember a list can be anything. Um, and of course, concatenation is only going to work on strings. And so by putting everything in a string explicitly, uh, that way I know I'm not getting anything weird uh, that may cause my print to fail. So I add some, uh, some spaces in there to make it pretty. And there we have, uh, just using the indexes, um, a nice neat list. We didn't have to use counting or anything like that because the indexes are all in order.